So I filmed my most popular video last week or two weeks ago, which was my dad turning Chick-fil-A into a gourmet meal. So obviously everyone recommended this to me series, so I'm gonna film a couple of them. I've never had Popeyes and they just bought the Popeyes chicken sandwich to Toronto. I ordered a bunch of sides, a bunch of sauces, and I ordered one for us to try. And then he's gonna recreate Popeyes gourmet meal. A bunch of sides. I'll show you guys when the food comes. Food is almost here. What I, I ordered, sorry I forgot to say, was coleslaw, onion rings, spicy chicken sandwich, and corn. But if you're new to the channel, I saw a bunch of new people commenting. My dad is a chef. He's been on shows like Iron Chef and all that. Get ready for him to make a new meal out of fast food. About to get my dad's reaction. Ready? Okay. Oh, that's, garlic pepper. That's yours, that. Oh, is it? <laughs> what do we got here? You know what? I, every time I look at this, you know, when you get it, and it's like everything is in circles, surround, not, not even like, yeah, it doesn't even look like food. It looks like pucks. It looks like a hockey puck. I mean, what is this? Everything looks so secretive. Doesn't even look like food. Doesn't have a harmony of like deliciousness, the word is, right? It's like. So, do you know what this place is? Chick fil A, is it called? Pop Eyes? You don't know Pop Eyes? No. So this is like the main competitor. Everyone always argues which sandwich is better, this chicken sandwich or the other one you had last video. Oh, wow. So I got one for us to try. What do you think of this first onion ring? <laughs> you know what? This onion ring, you know, the weight itself, it's not coming from the onion. It's coming from the batter. It's almost like so little onions. The batter is like almost twice as thick as the onion. Oh, oh my God. This, this. Okay, you know what? You see the grease coming out? Oh, this is the healthiest things on the menu. Do you think it was a corn dog? I thought it was a corn dog, <laughs> yeah. That's the healthiest things on the menu. But I tell you, this corn been frozen for many times. How oh, you know a corn is frozen, you can see the water has been uh, coming out when they defrost it. Because you know vegetable, water, right? Mm -hmm. So when you freeze it, they turn into ice. When you defrost it, they melt it and become water and they lose all the vegetable water. First of all, sauces first, okay? Your garlic mayonnaise. I have to open it up and just have to smell it. Garlic mayonnaise. Mm, it's made of like, of course, garlic powder, right? And What's this one is spicy garlic mayonnaise. I guess, uh, you know, of course there's chilies. I don't know what kind of chilies, right? A lot of salt. Ooh, ooh, this barbecue sauce. You know, they use like a smoked liquid. It's not even like a real smoke. You know, I have to make that face. It's, that's the real emotion when it comes to like terrible food. Mm. Mustard. You can't go wrong with mustard, actually. You know, mustard is very specific. Tartar sauce. Yeah. Okay, I got fish around with this tartar sauce. Let me get my utensil. You know what a tartar sauce is, right? Tartar sauce, they have quite a bit of ingredients. You know what? They're all just mushy, mushy, and you know, it should be like a diced gherkins, onions. That makes a good tartar sauce. Like, this is like. Taste it. You see the way I taste it? I even don't want to put it in my lips because it would be extra. I just. Uh, <laughs> How is it? That's taste really f***ing awful, I have to say something. So try this chicken sandwich now. People have died over the sandwich when it first came out, the, the like, lines. you know, who's the one die for the sandwich? Like, Arguing. Argue, like your, your, your fans or, you like know. People in, La in, in America, it first came out and people died. Because oh, huh? it was so popular, it was sold out always. People were stealing it. Oh my god, let's look at this. You got two sandwiches, the same thing? Yeah, one's for you to cook, one's for you to try. One thing different than the bun than last time, let me taste the bun. First of all, you know what makes it a little bit yellow? Food coloring. Really? Yeah. And it makes it look very savory. You know, it's almost like a brioche. I mean, you know, when you ate a sort of like an egg bread, they call it. Mm -hmm. So it looks a little bit savory. And the color, by the time, when you have all the oil absorbed into the bun, it means you cannot see the grease because everything is yellow. Take one bite, everything. I've never had this yet either. You know what makes people really love about fried food? It's the oil. Spinning it out? Well, I'm not eating it. I'm just tasting it. Right? You want me to do the taste? <laughs> so it's not good at all. You know what, son? I tell you. You know, it's not like if, if you're having a war and the people are dying without food, you know, you're probably just like, you know, wolfing it down. But you know, not eating something like bad food. First of all, you know, the grease been how many times it's been frying in the same kind of oil and it's the same flavor. So it tastes really greasy and tastes really strong. 
Mm -hmm. And um, you know, people are so used to it and they're craving for that kind of flavor. Which one is better, the Chick-fil-A one or the... I have to say, you know what, this is my memory last time. I think I like the other one better because I like the, uh, you know, the classic uh, sort of like a hamburger bun and the bun's a little bit uh, not so messy as this one. And last one, it was a little bit crispier and also the oil, you can see it way darker. You know, last time, if you look it up uh, with your video last time, you compare. The crispiness is not as dark. It means the oil is getting really old. When the oil is dark, it absorbs in, into uh, the batter. I have to say last one is better. So, so try the onion ring and the coleslaw and then you can start. Do you have any ideas so far? You know, uh, I have to say the onion tastes pretty sweet. It's got white onion. You know, I like onions. You love onions. I want to taste this uh, salad. You see, you know, I have not even a lot of bite right now. I actually feel that I'm full. Wow, wow. I can't even taste any vegetable. Well, the corn, as I talk, yeah, it had been frozen for so long. And you know, there's no juice. I gave you more variety this time at least. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. I want to make junk food become health food. And that's my plan today. Trust me, check me out. You will see to make the salsa and rehydrate it. And I want to use a little bit of tomatoes. Got me really excited. So my new ingredients, cilantro, lovano. You gotta use some of the sauces too. Wow, well, yeah, of course. Call me a chef for no reason. And I have uh, fingerling potatoes. I have fresh lime juice. And then first, you know what I'm going to pick is um, See, you know, I've got some fingerling potato and the skin. You can actually use the steel wool. You can brush it off. You gotta work like a chef, you know what I mean? You ever cut yourself doing that? No, never. Okay. Potato. See the way I cut the potato nice and long. The knife works pretty good. After 40 something years, hope this is a compliment. Dry it in a piece of paper, potato, get rid of the water, chicken, take it off, all the, you know, shitty stuff. You're taking it off. Oh God, you know, yes. Take everything off, please. You see, I gotta rinse it off, all this greasiness, you know. My next step, I'm gonna re-season, use a little bit of sea salt and also, a little bit of chipotle. You know, this dish remind, uh, inspire me a little bit of Mexican friend. So that's what I'm, I'm intended to do. Mm. Oh God. Oh, what was that? The water just beats up. Meanwhile, Lovano, burn off the skin. What is that? Lovano is a Mexican style uh, peppers. I have chicken here and I have brown butter. I tell you, you know one thing about my kitchen? I have almost everything that a, a professional kitchen have. Clear by butter, I slow it down a bit. I want to rinse this off completely. Mayonnaise, gone. You're straining all the vegetables? Absolutely. Drain it out, keep it nice and hot. Peppers charring. Then, corn, cut off, off the cob. Mix it into the cabbage. Of course, lime juice, Mexican. Pretty much, I use everything with lime. Drain out all the water. Lime juice, yeah, nice. A little bit of salt. Mexican seasoning, the hen, look at the pepper, now it's burning. Now meanwhile, and I'll also use just a little touch of olive oil. Clarified butter and olive oil. And I dip a little bit of flour. Little flour on the chicken, on the chicken breast, not much. On the potato, help it to bind a little bit. Pat it down, very little. Then you put the potato crust on it. Potato crust. Yeah. Slow, slow cook. Just a little bit more olive oil. Meanwhile, peppers still burning. Let's go back to work on the salsa. If you don't use cilantro in Mexican food, it's not really Mexican food. All of the sauces that they use. You're so, making this a full Mexican uh, salsa. Potato is still cooking. Shallow fry. Bobano. Okay. Perfect. Good. Quick rinse. Get so how can you just grab it when it's so hot? You know, the word is tolerant, right? When you love food, Sometimes those little pain you don't even realize. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Take off the seed. You know, making sure they're all nice and golden, crispy. Let me do the peppers. It smells like a jalapeno. It is. It's almost like a jalapeno, but it's not. 
Is it spicy? Yeah, sometimes it can get spicy and sometimes not. I decided not to use a lot of this uh, cabbage. I'm gonna discard some of them because we don't need, I want it to be very nice and creamy, you know? So, salsa. So you mix the pepper in? You mix the pepper, lime juice, right? Always. So I'm going to lift the pan out a little bit higher so they can cook it a little bit more on the potato side. Now onions. Get rid of the batter. Oh God, yes. Help me, save me. <laughs> this onion actually has so little onion. You see how thin that is and how thick this batter is? That's what I'm talking uh, about. I'm just going to do add it in the salsa. I think it would be just perfect. Look how much batter compared to onion, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I have to take it apart. Yes, that's pretty crazy. So this onion, again, I'm going to do cut it up add it into a salsa. Mm. A little bit more Mexican seasoning. Yeah, there you go. Mmm. Potato nice and crispy, right? So take it off in the grease a little bit. Look at the crispiness of the potatoes. So I have to say, you know, if I have to choose one sauce to make, but really nicely go with uh, uh, the Mexican style food. Let me taste the mayonnaise. Mmm. They're garlic already. What I have, I'm going to use a little bit of smoked salt and I'm not going to mix anything in it because there are a lot of uh, uh, seasoning in already. So you're admitting the sauce is kind of good? Well, you know what? Yeah, some of them are really good and some of them are just okay. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of smoked salt, very little, just give a little bit of smokiness, you know? Mexican food, they, you know, sometimes they love that smokiness. It tastes really nice. Fine dining plating? A little bit, a little bit of this salsa. leaf on the top place this right there burnt a little bit charring the lime what does this do to it i uh, just change the flavor i really like that potato roasty charred lime that's my dish let's see i have potato roasty uh sear on top the chicken breast which i remove all the the crust and then i have a uh, made garlic mayonnaise with just a touch of smoked sea salt salsa made out of uh slaw remove all the mayonnaise use lime juice cilantro and poblano and a little bit of chipotle and onion rings and also uh, with the crust with the mayonnaise with the potato i think this is a perfect match just before you eat that like squeezing on the top of the chicken and that's nice. the proper way with the salad you do the first honors. I think I have to try the salsa first. Mmm, sweet onion is really a good choice. You know what is that uh, Mexican spice? The hint. I think it's a very good choice too. And the freshness on the uh, poblano really lift up the whole dish. You hear the sound? You don't hear that on the other on the sandwich when it comes, right? Mmm. No, you don't hear that. A little bit of mayo. Remember, a little lime juice. Mmm. Mmm. You know what that means. Tap on my shoulder. Try it, huh? Okay. Smoke, salt, mayo, chicken. Mm. This one's better than your last one. Yeah, I think they're different. With the salsa? If I'm being honest, last one was too salty. This one I could actually, I'm gonna eat it. So that was episode two of Iron Chef Dad Turns Fast Food Restaurant Gourmet. I hope you guys like By far way better than the Chick-fil-A meal. But however, I think the Chick-fil-A sandwich is better than the Popeye sandwich. Tell me what fast food restaurant you guys want to do next. I can't do the Travis Scott meal because it's not in Canada, unfortunately. So keep that in mind. I ate the whole thing. Last time it was sort of like a meme with my dad. We were laughing. So that was the end. That was like clean plate. <laughs> we just like threw it out. This time I actually ate the whole thing. So yeah, very good. Turns out my dad can actually cook. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, all that. Try and hit 40K. And I'll see you next Sunday for sure. Watermelon sugar. Watermelon